Hi, and welcome to Jules Voto's Photo Focus. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips on candid photography of children. Uh, and I use the Nikon Z6 and the Nikkor 85mm 1.8 Z mount lens. Um, I mean, this will work with any camera and lens combination, pretty much. Uh, you want to have a... I, I, I recommend something longer than normal focal length and a faster lens. Uh, a camera with good autofocus. Uh, if it's indoors with low light, of course, you're going to need good high ISO performance. Uh, and uh, I'm very pleased with the 8518 for this type of photography. I have uh, did a video on the 85 uh, once before. Uh, and in that video, it was shot primarily at 1.8. Uh, let me just go over the camera settings that I used, and then we will uh, talk about some pictures, and I'll get into uh, the act actually how I went about doing this. So the Z6 was set, and this is the original Z6, not the two. Uh, I had it set for shutter priority, matrix metering, continuous autofocus with auto area mode with eye detect, uh, release mode was continuous high. I had it set, and I didn't put this on the chart here, but I had it set for auto white balance, keep white, reduce warm colors, um, uh, standard picture control, plus one saturation, and plus one U. The VR was on, high ISO noise reduction was on low, and active D lighting was off. So on a recent Saturday late afternoon, um, I went over to my cousin's house and uh, his granddaughter was there and I have photographed her before. And uh, so I brought along my Z6 and the 85 1.8. And when I take pictures of children, uh, I like to travel very light. And the only thing I brought with me was the Z6, that 85, and a spare battery. And uh, no additional lighting, no flash, nothing like that. Uh, the room she was in was her family room. It has a couple really big windows and then a smaller side window. Uh, it was a nice sunny day, so there was a lot of good light coming through. And I just get at, down on the floor with a small child and just shoot away. Okay, She was playing with her uncle. She was on the couch. She was on the floor. She was by the window playing with some toys. And... Um, Basically, when you do that, when they're involved with other things, when they're playing, they really forget about you. Occasionally, I would say something and she would look up and I'd snap a shot. But most of the time, she was just involved in something and really not paying attention to me at all. Now, a lot of these exposures were made at an ISO. Most of them, in fact, were made at an ISO of 400. And uh, because I was in shutter priority, uh, the aperture varied anywhere from 1.8 to 3.2. Um, I don't think there were any shots taken with a smaller aperture than 3.2. Um, the, uh, you know, the light was pretty consistent. Uh, and later, towards the end of this video, you will see some shots that were taken at night. And there I had bumped the ISO up to 3200 and was shooting at 2.8 at a 160th of a second. But this lens is really sharp, even wide open, and it works out really good for this type of photography. Um, you'll see I converted some of the images to black and white. Uh, and uh, I don't know, I kind of like black and white pictures of children. And uh, there wasn't much done to these images. I brought them into Lightroom little bit of uh, exposure correction, toned down the highlights a little bit in some images, and uh, did the black and white conversion, and a little bit of cropping. But there was no retouching at all. You'll see she had some food on her face in some spots, and uh, I didn't bother to go in in Photoshop and, uh, and fix that. Um, the best way in my opinion, to get good photographs of children is to get down at their level. You're going to have to spend some time on the floor. If you're getting older like me and the knees are in not in the greatest shape, you may, may need some help getting up. But it's worth it uh, because you get much better shots when you are on the ground at their level. 
Uh, I had the camera set for continuous and uh, continuous um, drive mode as well as continuous focus. And I think that works best with children. Uh, they move so quickly and uh, the eye control focus worked really well uh, in almost all cases. There were a few shots that were a little soft, uh, but I would say my hit rate was very high. Um, this is a shot where I was standing kind of, and she was looking up at me, but for the most part, um, I was down at, at a low level. Uh, so, uh, these next shots you're going to see right here, these were the ones that were shot once it got dark at, uh, 3200 ISO and, um, at 2.8 at a 60th of a second. Uh, and, uh, the Z6 is really good with high ISO. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this has inspired you to, uh, whether it's your own children or family members or you're doing it professionally, uh, you know, just take a lot of shots with kids. You know, you're going to do pose pictures too, but I prefer uh, shooting these candids. I just let the kid go and follow them around. And um, I really enjoy doing this type of photography. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with a new video every Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. So I will talk to you next time.